Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to show you guys this makeup look that I've been doing every time I actually put on makeup. I'm going to show you guys all the products that I use today and I hope you guys enjoy. For my eyebrows, I always use this brow stylist and it comes with this little thing to fill in your eyebrows and then a spoolie so I really like this so now that I filled in my eyebrows I clean them up using this brush this is an elf brush that is around like two to three dollars and then I use my um, beloved concealer from Maybelline I use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to fill in the top of my eyebrows because I noticed that if I use a regular concealer that isn't matte, the top of my um, forehead gets more oily than the rest of my face. I like to use this eyeshadow primer that I talk a lot about. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie. What I usually do is I always use the Morphe 350M palette. I take the color that is nearest to my skin tone to start off as a base, and which is this one. And then I mix it sometimes with this. I use this brush. This is the AOA Studio E112 brush. I got this new brush, this Morphe Y16 brush. And I usually always start off by using this color right here. Start to pat that in and then start to blend everything out. After I blend that out, I go in with another AOA Studio brush, and this is just the flat shader brush. It's the E122. Any flat shader brush, take the same color like I took and apply it on my eyelid. I do want to deepen it up, so I'm going to take a darker red. Um, I'll usually take this one or this one, or I'll take both. Without anything on the brush, whatever it had, I'm just going to blend the two colors together as if it were kind of like an ombre effect. Today, because I am breaking out, I'm going to use my Baby Skin Instant Pore Erase Primer. I would suggest not applying this primer anywhere where you are dry because it will dry you up even more. This facial oil is the Botanical Actives Facial Oil. Just apply it here. Right here. I'll kind of like blend it in with my hands very gently because you don't want that primer to go away. Oh no, it got on my eyebrow. Lately, I've been trying to just use foundation that I want to kind of get rid of. So the foundation that I'm talking about here, it is Your Skin But Better CC Plus color correcting, full coverage cream, a cosmetics foundation. So I just apply a little bit. Whoa. I like to go over with another foundation. This is the Infallible Pro Matte 24 hour foundation. This is kind of a little bit more yellow And I just apply a little bit just to change the color of my foundation. Of course, my Maybelline Fit Me concealers. I start off with this and then I apply this one. It's like the perfect shade. To set my under eyes, I use this NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. And then to set the rest of my face, I use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder. I found this new brush that I really enjoy. This is the Morphe G40. I blend it out on my face, but I do not touch the under eye baking that's going on. To bronze my face, I use this Too Faced Chocolate Soleil in Medium Bronzer. And I use this Morphe M523 brush. Then the last thing I'm going to do to um, the base of my face is 
use blush and this is the Milani baked blush in luminoso I use this elf concealer brush clearly I don't use it for concealer but I take the the color that I used first I add a very dark brown red it'll either be this one because it's pretty dark or this one on the bottom you know just the last few steps I'm gonna apply L'Oreal telescopic carbon black I like to use this very thin mascara to get the top of my eyelashes and the reason I like to do this is because if you can see on the top of the eyelashes I do have eyeshadow on them okay now that my eyelashes are on I like to use this pixie by Petra lower lash mascara for my lower lashes <laughs> As always, I use this Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. To apply highlighter, I'm going to use my Morphe M510. I'm just going to apply it right here. Not too much. Just a little bit to make it just look a little bit smaller. And then on the bridge of my nose. So usually, I just like to fill in the rest of my lips with this NYX Lip Liner in Natural. So this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoy watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.